the previous video, we have learned about cost price and selling price. Today, we will see some interesting examples of cost price and selling price. From a computer manufacturing company, a shopkeeper purchased a computer for Rs 29,540 and sold it to a buyer for Rs 37,468. How much profit or loss is made by the shopkeeper? Since the shopkeeper has purchased the computer for Rs 29,540, this is his cost price. If he sells the computer to a customer, for Rs 37,468, then the selling price for the shopkeeper is Rs 37,468. By looking at the cost price and selling price, can you tell whether the shopkeeper has made a profit or a loss? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. Since the selling price is greater than the cost price, the shopkeeper has made a profit. Since profit is equal to selling price minus cost price, which is equal to 37,468 minus 29,540, which is equal to Rs. 7,928, the shopkeeper has made a profit of Rs. 7,928. Next example. Priya has bought a frock from a shop. The price of the frock was Rs. 340 but the shopkeeper gave her a discount of 5%. If the shopkeeper purchased it for Rs 335, then how much profit or loss is made by him? The cost price for the shopkeeper is Rs 335. He kept the selling price of the frock as Rs 340, but while selling it to Priya, he gave a discount of 5% on it. Here, 5% discount means Rs 5 off on every 100. That means... Discount of 5 by 100 on rupee 1. So on rupees 340, rupees 340 into 5 by 100 is equal to rupees 17 discount will be given. Therefore, subtracting discount from the selling price of the frock gives the discounted selling price of the frock. Thus, the selling price will be rupees 340 minus rupees 17, which is equal to rupees 323. Now we know the cost price and selling price. By observing these, can you tell whether the shopkeeper made a profit or a loss? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. Since selling price is less than cost price, the shopkeeper has faced a loss. Therefore, loss is equal to cost price minus selling price, which is equal to Rs. 335 minus Rs. 323, which is equal to Rs. 12. That means, the shopkeeper faced a loss of Rs 12. Next example. A sari merchant buys 200 saris from a company. He sells them at a price of Rs 250 each, due to which he makes a profit of Rs 6,390. If the merchant bought all 200 saris at a similar price, then what is the price paid by him for one sari? Though the given example seems difficult, it is actually very simple. Let's solve this. First of all, we will see what information has been given in question and what we need to find out. From the example, it is clear that the number of saris purchased by the merchant is equal to 200. He sold them at a price of Rs 250 each, which means total selling price of 200 saris is equal to 200 into Rs 250 which is equal to Rs 50,000. It is given in the example that on selling 200 saris, the merchant made a profit of Rs 6,390. What we need to find out is the price paid by the merchant while purchasing the saris. That means we need to calculate the cost price of saris purchased by the merchant. Just think of how we are going to do this. Let me tell you. Since profit is equal to selling price minus cost price, therefore, cost price can be obtained by subtracting the profit from the selling price. So, cost price is equal to Rs 50,000 minus Rs 6,390, which is equal to Rs 43,610. Therefore, 
The merchant has paid 43,610 for all the sarees. If the cost price of all 200 sarees is equal to 43,610, then the cost of one saree is equal to cost of all 200 sarees divided by the number of sarees, which is equal to 43,610 divided by 200, which is equal to 218.05. Therefore, we can say that the merchant purchased each saree for 218.05 rupees. Today, we have seen examples of cost price and selling price. In the next video, we will clear some misconceptions related to this.